pay that is funny. <laughs> like, dude, what is it with you and always reluctantly paying that someone's funny? That's a good way to start. Always starts alive. with it's funny. I don't know. It's such I, a strain. Yeah, because like, I think there's more important things in the world than yuck yucks. That's second. But it's so strange important. because your personality does not suggest that. <laughs> What are we but talking about? Ali, on the other hand, if you say, but it's funny, he'll say, yes. And that'll be the end of the conversation. Yeah. That's fine. You can move on to the next point after that. Different But strengths. the mulling doesn't finish there. No, no, it doesn't. Well, well anyway, this was a half-finished conversation. <laughs> <laughs> started live. How you doing? Hey. Thanks for being here. Special hello to AUWU, Pair Thera, Pair Thera, Pair Thera. And <laughs> we have a question for you straight off the bat. Now I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got a merch idea, and as usual, this oh, first warm-up yes. part is pretty much just us pitching marketing straight to you. You are an unwilling... Think about how sad your life is. You are a focus group that is not getting paid and has no consent in the situation <laughs> at all. <laughs> hey, I just realised I just realized something before you go into that. You know, why, you know why I say it like that? It is a time release for me. So in a year, I'll be like, that guy's funny. Anyway, that was just an answer to the previous question. What That's was the why. question? Time I, I missed the interview. It was just, a, it's not worth, it, it's fine. It's not worth getting into, but I just thought Well, I'll that. let everybody in here because you're early. My little conies, here's a little insider tip to my life before Friendly Geordies. There's this pickup artist called <laughs> Owen Cook, a.k.a. Tyler Durden, who got his name from Fight Club because of uh, how deep the film is. And I don't know why I'm putting that voice on. It is a deep film. I love that film. It is it great. Movie. I, it I is hate this new hipster trend of saying that film sucks. Who says that? Hipsters. Do they? Yes. That's, that's bizarre. It's like so undeniably a good movie. Yeah. If Brad Pitt went to it stoned and thought, dude, which is what happened on the premiere, because he was really oh, scared right. of the film because it made no sense at all <laughs> when they were filming it. Shit. So he thought it was going to be a pile of shit. And so he and whoever the other guy is, Edward Ugg Norton, Gordon. yeah, ugly Brad Pitt, that one. <laughs> he <laughs> so that should be his official title. Well, it's how I remember yeah, it. Yeah, fair. And he even plays that. He plays like burned victims in the Middle Ages. <laughs> so we all know the score. Yeah. But both of them went to it blazed because they thought, oh, let's just go through this. They they had to force them to go to the premiere. Really? And then they sat through it blaze. And isn't that the perfect way to watch Fight Club? Yes, it mm. is. Probably it's made them watch. I'm, I'm jealous that I'm not them purely for that. Take away all the fame. I just want to be in Fight Club, stoned, watching it for the first time in the world. Yeah. That, that's a cool oh, experience. Oh, wanna, sick. You want to forget that you've already seen it. You want to see it all over again, just stoned. Yeah, like, no, just no, no, it for the no, first time. Not just time. that. If I want to be Brad. I just want to be John Malkovich, Brad Pitt's mind. For, for that two hours, oh, right. just see it through his eyes and then come out. The yeah. rest of his life, you know, the, having sex with Victoria's Secret models on rotation. Boring. Uh, it, lame, <laughs> lame. <laughs> Probably I, doing a Route 66 tour with Elon Musk in the most updated <laughs> version of a Tesla. You can keep all of that. <laughs> I want to smoke a joint and watch Fight Club. And I, I can't... God, I, I can't do it on my Can own. I do that now? I can't do that now. Well, is Edward Norton going to be there? <laughs> have you have you ever gone into... Have you ever seen a movie for the first time, Stoned? Yeah, of course. Me too. Wait, wow. Do you remember what, what movie That's it was? Cool. Yeah, because it was like a year ago. It was <laughs> it was The Hurt Locker. And it was oh, yeah, I watched that with you, Stoned. No, no I didn't. No, no, I wasn't no, 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 no. but you were weren't stoned. stoned. You were, that was a different kind of stone altogether. Weren't you on Mushies? No, I was stoned. Oh, I thought you were on mushrooms. No, no, no. By I the way, guys, and I update about those dead. mushrooms that you guys gave me. You what? You ate them? No. My mom did a deep clean of my <sighs> room and she thought they were like, she'd throw them out. No. I'm sorry. I'm Mrs. Sorry. Ali uh, Shibadoobadoo. So sad. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't even think, what a waste, and put them in cooking. Oh, Just that would have been out. so yeah. good if the whole family got high. Yeah, what an experience. Oh, man, that would have been like a very amazing experience for your family. Like, it would have just been like a bonding experience. Yeah. Your mum asking pretty much what she asks while she's sober. Ali, do you believe in Allah? <laughs> yeah, she just gets really high and goes, <laughs> do you believe in Allah really? <laughs> <laughs> it's that addition of really. Uh, yeah, no, here's the, here's the question. Miss Love... You don't know this, Arlo. Miss Love got sent <laughs> a calendar that his grandma composed. 
It was paid for by someone who does Photoshop in Croatia. So you know <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. And the yeah, first so shot of it, so it's just all family members for each month. The first one, Miss Love has the premiere of being in January. That was his watching Fight Club Stone. He, he's there, front and centre. The first thing that you open up, it's him with some hillbilly yuck yuck smile holding a not that impressive fish that he caught. It's probably about this big. Yeah, it's, not that big. it's probably not even legal size. Not, I threw it back. I threw it back. I threw it back. I'm oh, still shit. happy to get it. That's the best moment of Bella Bragic history. That, that, that needs to be commemorated so first. I should knock you in the head. Why? Because I'm sure there's better moments. <laughs> But anyway, go well, on. your whole family is obviously agreeing that, wow, Mace, he's a very talented True. boy. True. That's there. And it's got all the month, uh, all the days of the month as a calendar does. I don't know why I'm explaining something that everyone has seen. But at, on the 15th day, <laughs> for no reason, poorly Xerox to begin with, Miss Love there. Hilarious enough that he's sitting there with an underweight fish going, <laughs> and then... Uh, on the fifteenth yeah, like. day, there is this. <laughs> this just in a tiny photo, just a blown up face of an old Croatian woman smiling. <laughs> and then I asked Miss Love, "Is that your grandma?" Yeah, and he said, "No." It's just, just a just random, random old woman what there. The point of that? I think. I I, look, I think it might be. I, I would assume it's some kind of relative. <laughs> Well, like, but, but uh, why you a random know? relative? Even if it's a relative, why just a random relative? <laughs> like, how no, about that second that, cousin that you've seen once in your life? That's what it how is. How about we include them <laughs> on the 15th? I think that's what it is. I don't ask the questions about the mysteries of the Croatian Xerox calendar. I just go with the float, man. I just go with the float. Which is exceedingly difficult the further you proceed into the calendar because in October, yeah. there's another I, photo of Miss <laughs> Dressed as a homeless man in his classic slant in a chair, which he's really putting on all his professionalism here uh, to sit like he normally does. Most of the time, <laughs> Miss Love sits like this. Like, as far as you can go down before it would be considered sleeping in a bed. That's as, 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 as far down as he gets. Like, he's a 10-year-old driving a car. It's true. That's his normal slant in a chair. His that's brother's work, there looking just slam, as homeless. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's just two homeless guys sitting on really pov chairs in Croatia with guitars that look shit. I don't know if they're good or not. That was the Silvertone one I bought. That was like, two grand for a child's guitar built in the 60s made of plywood. That was that Right, guitar. so it's it's not without its charm. It's, it's, tech, it's a very expensive shit guitar. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he's sitting there, and then the, the month you go down... And it's just his mum, I think his cousin or something like that. And then on one of the days is just a picture of an apple. <laughs> <laughs> what are they celebrating there? <laughs> what? Why is that there? I, just I think I figured it out. The calendar people were like, send us 12 pictures. You only had like nine of Miss Love. So then she just included the random apple? ones. It was just two. And then all the other family members were there. But here's the... Uh, uh, market research that goes into play. You have to be it, honest here. We were on the ground laughing because it was just like so, it's so sweet, but it's just so funny. Just like so Eastern European. Like, <laughs> like I, I might pay out your culture, but mine pay, deserves to be paid out just <laughs> as equally. Wait, so you're saying- yeah, because it's just Pakistan, but less intense. <laughs> Pakistan, slightly colder. Yeah. yeah. No, so no, you're yeah. saying that we make that calendar into official Friendly Geordie's merch. We should make it into official merch, and yeah. I think that we should get all of the, if, if God willing, the uh, focus group agrees with this. Mm, mm. <laughs> Replace all the pictures of Miss Love's family with pictures of Miss Love. Maybe his dad can stay because I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's just, uh, it's like even, it's like a shriveled testicle version of Miss Love. It's just an old decrepit Miss Love. It's like him in 30 years. That's what it looks like. So I think just keep it in there. Just so you go. That is Miss Love. He's also a great man. Like I uh, love Tony, by the way. But man, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll put them all in, all the pictures, and we'll keep everything the same. All this strange Croatian writing for the months of being like, <laughs> for January. 
<laughs> and we'll keep all of that there. The uh, apple is staying. All of like <laughs> Miss Love's relatives' birthdays, they're all there. That's all. You get that yeah. for free. It's great. Consider that a bonus. I think that's great. That's like when you buy steak knives from Dan Oz Direct and then you get you that get little mini all purpose knife. Yes, that's all there. Yes, yes, but yes. I love it. The yeah. other eight are getting replaced with pictures of Miss Love <laughs> and then we'll call it 12 months of Miss Love. <laughs> That'll be the only thing in English. Everything else will be great. Surely someone's going to buy that calendar. Guys, I am. I'm uh, getting three, and then I'm just going to cross out the one and then put two and then three. What do you mean? What do you mean two and three? I'm just going to use it for 2022, 2023. It's, it's the many years you've missed. 12 months of me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it this year, Jimmy. And here's the only input you guys get. You have to buy one if you're watching this. This is just a little patch. You, you signed you, up for I'm Patreon so and you're getting that calendar. But yeah. the only part that you have any say in is, is it 12 months of miss love or is it 12 months of miss? Yeah, I kind of like 12 months of <laughs> Two miss. Two different people. Yeah, 12 months of miss is pretty good. What do like, you think? What do you think? Miss, miss. Yeah, it brings up, and miss. it's more like sort of like, Deck the holes with Joe well, and Miss Love. You know, it's that vibe. All right, and for December, it obviously has to be Miss Love in a Christmas hat. Yeah. No, yeah. July. Ju- we'll Christmas put the in Christmas July. hat. Yeah, Christmas in July for Miss Love. Maybe, maybe Here's December. Your, and then for December, raunchy? I think that maybe we should superimpose his face <laughs> on a little baby Jesus. All right, or maybe your, just a picture of him as a baby. Yes. He's your focus Merry group Christmas. response. Merry Meesmas. <laughs> Fat Dyke on Crack says I'd buy it if it fat, was... Wait, wait, but sorry, what? <laughs> That's his name. What fat Dyke on Crack? Yeah, Fat Dyke <laughs> on Crack. He says I'd buy it if it was in capitals very cheap. <laughs> 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 and it will be. It, All right, well, let's go for the price. Two, yeah. No, I, you, We can't send it. Okay, the postage is going to cost eight. <laughs> but yes, we can do that. Yeah, true. The postage is going to be is going to probably be like $8. But I feel like this is, guys, if there's ever going to be some merch of me, I think it's going to be... It has to be this. It's going to be just <laughs> so good. <laughs> but how are we going to... What else can it be? How are we going to find uh, the, 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 the... We need the text to be genuine, you know? What do you mean genuine? Oh, that's easy. Just Parramatta? Or, you know what I mean? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Parramatta. We'll find somewhere in Parramatta. The only white people left in Parramatta are Croatian. So we'll just scope <laughs> yeah. out. We'll stay there for two days until a white person walks out. And then we'll say, you, put this in. Like, How the did you sea, know I'm Croatian? The sea of Indians and then just one. <laughs> Dude, what is up with this? I don't like, uh, most of our comments are about a debate between you and Destiny. What's happening with What's this debate Destiny? shit? What the Who's fuck? Destiny? Are you, are, did you say anything about doing a debate? No. Like What's this shit? The net's a weird Tell me place. about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, look, who's look. Destiny? <laughs> As if you don't know <laughs> this like, esoteric. Yeah, yeah, you know. A, it's, it's streamer. I'm, I'm like vaguely aware of him. I mean, I don't know who it is, let's be honest. But I know who he is. Geordie's versus shoe you. on head. No, there'll be no versing there. That'll just be Geordie's hitting on shoe on head. Who's, who's <laughs> shoe on head? Dude, I don't even know any of these people. The net's a weird place. I, I've been away for a week and I come back and it's oh, scarier it than I remember. Slipped out of the zone. Well, the response yeah. seems to be very quickly, don't bother debating him. Why? Can you get my air candy to me on a platter? Who is that? But I think he's another one of these... Um, fuck, they, they, their names escape me because I just don't spend any time on Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, fuck. Reddit. Vosh. Vosh. Whatever the fuck he's... I oh. think he's... Is he on that? Is he on that? Tell know. me about him. Who the fuck is he? I, I, does anyone know? But, I don't but, know any of these people. Like, the only one that I know is like Geordie's versus Bros. Destiny well, is Reddit. How late are they to the thing? Are they like, you should go to his house and like <laughs> camp in it? <laughs> is that what... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what's happening here? Oh, and here. include Mario. All right, I'm, I'm going to yeah, go on. And, and Vindit had it so right. Oh, man, shoe on head. Emo look still does it for me. <laughs> I think that's pretty you're much it. Like You, you look at her every time and you're like, are you a goth anime figure or not? And I need to find out. Is this the girl that like gets our stream after we finish, maybe? Ah, oh, Christ. No, not no. her. Okay. <laughs> Piece of crap. Jesus. Hey. We're not I, I really <laughs> do despise. Anyway, We're sorry. not condoning any... Uh, I don't know. I don't even know who that is. We're not... Uh, I'm sure we wish you all the best. I'm sure your content's great. Anyone having a crack at content deserves a go. Um, um, 
You right. should really delete that, you know. Delete what? Oh, Instagram. <laughs> yes, I should. Come you know on, what? come you know on, why? Well, yeah, I was what's wasting up, what's up, time. Like, uh, I was wasting time on it. On Instagram. Yeah, actually, if anyone, yeah, don't message me on Instagram. <laughs> There's no point. Just uh, email. Why would Ali. you delete Instagram when you're trying it. to be like a famous musician? I didn't delete it. I disabled my personal one. But how much time were you spending on Instagram? What were you doing? A lot. Oh, you mean uh, the ladies? No, just literally being like. Oh, my favorite artist is eating pepperoni pizza. I thought they liked mushroom. Oh, look, some oh, girl mint. that I met a week ago is still hanging out and living her life like everyone else in the world. Oh, <laughs> another artist. Oh, what are they? Are oh, they like pizza too? Cool. Oh, the day's gone. Holy shit! <laughs> that, that's a lot of yeah, swipes. I had to do. It. I had to get Jesus. rid of it. If I may get even more internet-y than go, talking go, about go. Destiny and Vorsch, we're gonna <laughs> fuck that up. But what is it? What is it? Tell me. I'm, I'm excited. The lore is deep. The what? We're really hitting a nerve with the redditors here. What? what, what, what please just fill me in. Reddit. Uh, the only, wh- the why only are you on this Twitch? Hey, hey, drone. What is it? Hey, what hey, it? dawn. What's the vibe? Geordies and Hassan Piker would be like two peas in a pod. Who is that? Who's Give the, me more credit. Who's than Hassan that. Piker? Cheek Uyghurs. Oh, come Fucking on. Fucking nephew. Ha, take what? it back, <laughs> random person. <laughs> is his nephew famous too? That guy huh? sucks. His nephew's dude. famous yeah, too? He I is. didn't even know. He's he kind of muscled his way in. Friendly yeah. Geordies Twitch versus Friendly Geordies YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what? Actually, that's a meme that will come in the main podcast section. Damn, cool. I'm keen. Hey, it's good to be back, by the way. I mean, like, I'm, well, I miss, we, we, I, I we miss were this. I miss this. You know what I would really like to do? <clears throat> Just to give him more subs. The man needs it. Friendly Geordies versus Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> I just want to get my ass no handed versing. to me on a platter. There'd be, yeah. there'd be no versing. He'd just be like, look, I, I thought you were a pinhead, but to be honest, you're just a failed Republican. Okay, coming up next. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you coming up next to? It's a force of habit. <laughs> my makeup girl Cindy's take on the White House's latest insurrection. Is <laughs> <laughs> I even following any of the new... Uh, Crazy internet uh, conspiracies about Trump. Funny you mentioned yeah. that. I think Funny it will you have to go that. into that. Maybe into we should just get into that. Oh, oh really? It's part. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, of course. I haven't. But yeah, like, did you need to ask? <laughs> but the ones that I'm hearing are like really dumb. <laughs> no, yeah, and Miss Love's on board. Mine are, mine are dumb too. Look, this is all I. I haven't. This is, it's funny you mentioned. No, that. no, no it's go not. On to the main one. Look, he's just going to give us a rehash of what Alex Jones is saying, and Info I'm very war. interested in that because I just can't find him on the internet anymore. You, I think it, it'd be easier to stumble hard. onto the dark web than it would be to find Alex Jones. <laughs> no, dude. Info I go on his website and I can't find any videos. I'm not reading text done by some fucking laggard there. I want to see the man. Damn, maybe it's finally happened and I've become the most tech-savvy person at the Friendly <laughs> Geordie's HQ. That's Which wouldn't what? be hard, as previously it was R. Lee. <laughs> who, let's be honest, if he was in charge of that many months of Miss Love calendar, he would be worse than Miss Love's grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty and sure... you know what's even p- more pathetic? I'm worse than that. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure a, a, a very tall na- man by the by the name of Master Connor is better than me. Ah, uh, yes. The hitman slash butler, <laughs> whose name must not be revealed, though it very often is. <laughs> <laughs> Just search the rolling hills of a particular area of Australia and you'll see a large tall man... Walking around, speaking into a walkie-talkie. It'd probably be him. <laughs> and let's not forget the fact that he looks like a swamp ogre, but dresses like a year six kid going to a formal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all he's going to do is whack on one slightly bigger T-shirt and some brand shoes, and that guy will clean up. Very handsome man. But he refuses to. He gives and himself the handicap. <laughs> you have to respect <laughs> You got to respect the handicap. Yeah. The handicap <laughs> is, is needed. No, it's he shouldn't do it, but anyway. Dude, the real hill says, Friendly Geordies is Bill Maher without funding. <laughs> <laughs> so on point. Finally, someone gets it. Shout out the real... Hill, hill, f- except funny. for replace. Okay, everybody, new rule: Democrats have to stop being such massive pussies. 
with, okay, everybody, new rule. Can we all just accept there's a difference between liberal and labor? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think your first one was you too. <laughs> really? I don't say that about the Labour Party. No, you party, do though. about labor. No. Yeah, you do. You're like, they're too cucks. They need to sort of get more. The whole Lang thing. Well, I mean, it's pretty hard to say, you know what the Labour Party do- needs to do in its modern incarnation? It needs to get a 1930 <laughs> strongman at the helm, so someone that doesn't exist anymore, and then they won't be cucks. I mean, it's <laughs> true. Watch elbow. <laughs> Kick, mate. <laughs> oh, and what do you think about this preview to content as well? Miss and I are working on a series to endear Albo to a yeah. country that seems to have forgotten that he existed. I, know. I don't know why they know him in the first place. Maybe it's because they sometimes cut to him in Rabbitohs games. I don't <laughs> no, yeah. He's the mascot. No, <laughs> he's like, he's the bunny. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's it. No, it's just that he, he they, is. they see him walking around Marrickville once in a while like, yeah, dude, what's up? He's like, hi, guys. That's the only reason. Okay, so they think that he's a celebrity homeless man <laughs> that lives in Glebe. Think. <laughs> Wait, okay, I've got. I have a house. It's just housing commission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this controversial? Do you think it's time to change the leader? Unless so it's Joel Fitzgibbon. Absolutely not. I think. It, wait, what? I think that's a bad move and very mean, Ali. Which, wh- yeah, but that's because I haven't next- introduced you to Joel Fitzgibbon, and then you would oh, be because, like, Mr. So. Isn't your entire you thing would. like, what if the next guy doesn't like beer as much as this one? Albo likes B. Yeah, Don't you stretch? Because why do you think Albo should be there? Do you like him? Well, I've done a, I've done, I've been watching videos of him for like the last, I don't know, forty eight hours straight, and, and you still like him. That means yeah. he's a likable. Yeah, man. I like him. I like him. I do like him. I think he's dude. I honestly think he's uh, he puts his money where his mouth is, and he's a straight shooter, and he's not a career politician, and. And he just wants to fight Tories. I think he's a good guy. I feel kind of bad for him because I and read it's the, funny. his it's funny. accident news, which was like, this luxury SUV, he rams into the shitty Corolla. And I was like, whoa, Albo, driving his big ass luxury until I found out he Albo was, was in the fucking shitty <laughs> Corolla. That's mad. Some 17 year old was in that big ass luxury That's SUV. That's sick. I love that. Working class. No, I like <laughs> Truly it Truly working class. And he's actually quite funny. Like, he, like, he, like I didn't realize, but I was watching some of his... Um, some of his speeches, particularly one, particularly the speeches during when he was the. Uh, oh, I'm good. There's a, there's minister. a, sorry, there's a labor, there's a poll Go. of a uh, labor leader who should be the next one. The options are stick with Albo, uh, Tanya Plebisek, Jim Chalmers, Joel Fitzgibbon, wild guard, wild card entry, Eddie McGuire. Currently, it's not even a wild card. I really think that they could win an election with that, maybe even with right. the media bias against maybe, them. Maybe because he'd still have who wants to be a millionaire that he can go on. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And Albo, uh, sorry, Eddie is winning by yeah, yeah, and as he should. <laughs> look at the, the Trump. Look at the boy. boy, Trump of our time. Albo's up there too, but like considering yeah, that he is already a leader, <laughs> it should be much higher than that. <laughs> Such an unfair poll, though. And I've Look. already voted as well. I voted for Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm voting for Alba, you fucking sellout. Tanya's up there, too. Dude, Tanya could be a good leader. Yeah, she could. But Joel I like Fitzgibbon, Tanya a lot. Joel Fitzgibbon ain't getting nothing. Why, why is he unpopular and why do you want him? Because everybody believes the propaganda about him. That, oh, my God, he has to say that coal has a place in Australia's energy mix because he comes from an electorate where everyone's a coal miner. He's not... Tailoring his message to specifically me. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's hey. the same with every politician. That's the standard. Fair story. enough. Uh, I changed my mind too. Fuck for Joel Fitzgibbon. Like, how are you not talking about my selective problem? I told him though. My I, neighbor I talked does to him not though, and it's mad. Mention. It's kind of just like a jab at a hut of the Labour Party. Oh. You, you kind of have to go to him because he's a faction boss, and you can see him sitting there in Cessnock. <laughs> Any anyone else looking for some pre selection or something? Like, whoa, whoa. What's no. in it for Joel Fitzgibbon? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> He's a mad cunt. Corn. I really liked him. I thought he was a really funny, really engaging dude. You ask him about anything to do with policy, and he was actually one of the most switched on people in the party. And he was a spearhead uh, dude mm. <laughs> in... Uh, he, he was a radista. He was a stone cold radista. I've got, I've got a uh, radical idea. 
How about we fucking allow one politician in the history of mankind to like live out their term without being compl- without being well, like backstabbed or shifted out or fucking? Well, two had to shift his short. He was here for fucking two. Yeah, but he had a big head. It doesn't count. Look, that is a really good counter example. And the same thing with that, then you're going to have to disqualify Joel Fitzgibbon his if that's the qualifier. His head apparently is big. Apparently, you're taking his name wrong. His actual name is Cole Fitzgibbon. <laughs> 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 but anyway, I was gonna, what I was going to say was I saw him in, uh, in, uh, in Parliament when he was in, uh, I think he was like arts or environment minister or something with, with K. Rudd. And dude, his takedowns of Abbott and Turnbull were on par with Keating's. Yeah, he's good. What the hell more do you want from the man? This what? Is a re- it's more? really unfair. And I think it's part of his strategy. From the man. Just, like, what more? Ah, uh, man, look. I, Lucian Wheat. That's what oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> <same>. <laughs> Ah, what is Scomo's fine though? Is it? <laughs> Scomo's like not fat enough. No, yeah, well, like, yeah, 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 more to laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but more cushion for the pushing. The problem with yeah. Anthony Albanese is he's not a good speech maker. That's not true. But either. he's a good debater. I don't think. I think oh, we'll I have to cut this one out. Sorry. We can't and have any negative publicity for the man. <laughs> but I think that that you're might s- actually be his strategy. Ne- his strategy because. I remember when he first took office, he was saying, and this is what's amazing about him as well, he's been extremely consistent with his strategy, which is to pretty much just be invisible. Till the election. Till the Come out every now and then and say, um, the government suck. But no, no, actually, we're going to be constructive. No, they're, they're all right. And then <laughs> just like, he that, is actually following your model now. Because uh, I watch his, uh, I look at his news feed, what he's sharing, what he's talking about, and he's doing like, it's like he heard what you said. Why? Because he's, uh, he's, he's talking about, like, he's doing basically the Common Sense Brigade stuff. He's putting out memes that are, like, really basic. Like, uh, under labor, Medicare has a big pile of money. Yeah, under right. liberal, it has a smaller one. Common like, sense. He, he does, like, the basic graphs, like, under liberal, the marketing, one billion. Under labor, it's, like, a really small thing. So he's doing the Common Sense Brigade stuff. Yes. But I am he's reading... He's doing it well. I've been reading his comments, and a lot of people do say things like... Um, Look, I know hey, the liberals are bad, but you should put out some of your old policies, your own policies. Yeah, they should shut oh, the fuck, fuck up. Off. Every no one understands the media landscape in this the, country, and they all have these stupid. Hey, if I was opposition leader, I would know more than someone who's been in parliament since the fucking nineties. <laughs> like, like, it's not even that. It's just like I'm gonna nitpick your nitpick your fucking policies, isn't it tailor made to me? Even though you got the libs on one side and the greens on the other side, it's like. I, it's so easy to uh, yeah the ego that people have it really shits me that this it's just so thing. easy to criticize. I feel like it's so easy to criticize Labor because they got the worst of both worlds. Mm. They've got the Greens being like, uh, you know, Albo's been like attacked by like Greenies being like you're a sh- you're a fucking shameful, and then there's people on like Lalib's being like you're a communist, and it's like it's impossible to be pragmatic for for, for him. but. He has done a very good job of painting himself as such. And his strategy actually is to remain invisible. And his other strategy was to sit there for the last 20 years of his life, accruing very close personal relationships with every journalist in the Canberra Press Gallery. Really? And so I know this for a fact. They hate doing negative articles about it. There you go. It it weighs on their mind when they do. He's an affable man. Dude, maybe so he gets picked up by Murdoch, you know. You never know. He could be the next maybe Kevin Maybe he gets Rudd. picked up by Murdoch. He could be the, next, could Kevin be the next Kevin Rudd. Well, I think that it's a bit of or a Koshy. two-pronged attack there because I think that the Murdoch press thinks that Anthony Albanese is going to be the next King Beasley in that he's yes. sort of just liked... Beasles! But he's <laughs> Sorry. Actually, hold that continue, thought. Continue. We're Jeff gonna... Beasles! I love Beasley. Hold that thought. We're going to go on a break and then we'll come back and continue this on the main part. So... Watch us because we've got a lot of packed segments for you guys. Um, uh, so sorry, I cut him off. I was just, I just think, I just think of Kim Beasley's large frame, and I get all ha- all giddy inside. But wait, uh, why do you like Kim Beasley? So one much? second, Same. welcome to the Friendly Geordie's podcast. Thank you for joining <laughs> us today. Um, just before uh, 
the podcast started, we were doing the pre-show, which you can <laughs> check out if you become a patron. Yeah. Um, it's always available on Patreon. Uh, so, Jordan, you were talking about... In short, don't be cheap. Pay money. Yeah. So, you were talking about, like, yeah. how <laughs> Albo has become... We were talking about, like, if Albo should be changed or if he should <laughs> not. The controversial question. And you were saying he's gonna he's become, like, a Kim Beasley kind of figure. I think the Murdoch press thinks that he's a Kim Beasley-like figure, and I think that Anthony Albanese has a much better strategy than people give him credit for. He's been extremely consistent. These are just the talking points, I suppose. But he's been extremely consistent uh, ever since he got elected, which was to have a small target strategy, which is great because it means that the press have less to hammer him on. Mm -hmm. He's also taking into a, not taking into account, I guess, Joel Fitzgibbon's point, which is that if the Labor Party remain silent about climate change in the last election, I think he's right. I reckon they could have squeezed out a win because it's really detested in rural Australia. Makes sense. So Bill Shorten could have been the Prime Minister if he just had remained quiet about climate change. Or let Labor MPs and candidates run a different campaign, but they were saying be uniform about the message and that almost cost him his seat and he almost lost it to One Nation as a result. Really? But he needed to keep highlighting the point that you will be retrained. This will be like a low. This will be like a slow transition. Uh, your job is secure. You will have better jobs. He needed to say all those kinds of things, and he, he really wasn't given the scope to say that kind of stuff. Um, but when it comes to Albanese, I think that he's really under. I think out of anyone. All Labor politicians behind closed doors will admit that they understand the propaganda model, but I think that he works within it, and he works within it much better than anybody else. He has accrued very deep friendships with a lot of the journalists in the Canberra Press Gallery, and so I know for a fact that they detest writing negative things about him. That is going to help a lot, because he has won one of the psychological battles that need to be won. They'll still get hammered when it comes to the election, but I think that the difference is what's happening is... Albo is just one, just to interge interject. Sorry, keep Labor going. Leader now because of hiccuping Mislov's little uh, last-minute endorsement. I Look at the power that you have. All of these celebrities <laughs> in Hollywood saying, I'm backing Biden. No one gives a shit. And then you go like, it gets Mislov's seal of approval. <laughs> 80%. <laughs> it's true, because Eddie won the poll last time. Call me Lady um, Gaga. Anyway, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Continue. You, you were saying that the uh, they understand the propaganda model and they understand the what they have to do to play the game. Yeah, and so I think that he's understood that Labor's best chance is if there is no focus on the Labor Party. Mm. Bill Shorten was trying to go for the exact opposite route because it was the tr style of the time. It was 2016, Bernie Sanders, Jeremy Corbyn were around and he thought, oh, okay, you can just do a class war. Uh, obviously that gives the press so much ammunition to attack you and they will want to attack you because you're sitting there saying, I'm going to make you pay taxes. So they're going to go, ah, ah, and throw everything they can at you, which is exactly what happened in 2019. Yeah. But Anthony Albanese, you listen to him, he just says the most unoffensive points that everybody can agree with when he, gets, when he talks about Labor's policies. And he says things like, what we need is to have more investment in the region. And that's going to be good for everyone. What he's trying to do is copy the Hawke strategy of saying, we are going to allow you to be the oligarchy of Australia. We can just manage things better. That's his way of getting See, in. I, I think it's a good And plan. I think that that's a much better... Because what he is actually doing is he's appealing to the oligarchy of Australia. That's how you win. You might not like that, but that is the reality. You can't win against the oligarchy. Okay, so that's... Every single time. Like, think about it. Whitlam, the oligarchy approved of him and then very quickly disapproved of him. Hawke Keating, they were just sitting there just being England? like a... When you said huh? the oligarchy? Is that what you mean? What are you talking about? Well, is that some like kind of brand of canned fish over there? Is I didn't know what he you just meant. Means like Olive oil gar fish. I, I thought you just means like the Australian like business oligarchy, the establishment yeah, that yeah, called yeah. the shots behind the scenes. So just a uh, like your a vague veil of your like your imagination. That's what you're Packer, saying. Your <laughs> Reinhardt. Yeah, yeah. My conspiracy theory: yeah, yeah, the yeah. fact that uh, Gina Reinhardt has a lot of money and uses it to influence politics. But yeah. I've got a question about that. So, like, okay. I, I, I understand that. That solves it from, like, Labor's end. 
But don't you think that the oligarchy needs an incentive for them to move away from Scott Morrison? Because Scott Morrison's offering that and a bit more. Yeah, but I think that what... And yes, I think that Scott Morrison is obviously going to win the next election and it'll be purely to do with COVID. But what Anthony Albanese is constantly highlighting over and over again, if he talks about climate change... He is constantly reinforcing in all of his speeches. Everybody from Woodside Petroleum down to all the power generators to farmers, they all want a consistent policy on energy. And we're just talking... <laughs> like, like, you are talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good strategy, personally. It works for me. It's, it's worth like a shot, sensible man. Sensible today reasonable tomorrow it that's, makes that's sense to up. try it out because like in 2019 you went the other way and it didn't work out let's do it this way and see if it works out let's see and i think that it, it won't. It's, it's, <laughs> but no but this is really unfair because covid happened i know yeah and it that is. is all scott morrison is going to run on in the next election but you're then, not dead so it worked but, didn't then, it? but then also didn't he just take all of alvo's all of labor's uh and the union's plans for ta- to tackle Dude, COVID he didn't even, and cl- like... And claim it? Yeah. One of the but I think that he can convince enough members of the oligarchy that we kept the economy somewhat afloat and Scott Morrison was the one that plunged in into a recession with all of his shitty little targeted strategies, but they'll probably sit back there and be like, yeah, but he gave us all of our employees job keeper checks. So... Look, you really think that's... The Murdoch press is going to be on Scott Morrison's side... 100%. Yeah. But there might be some wiggle room within other factions of the ruling elite. That's who... The, you, that's the whole thing. When, when you sit there and say, like, he's not appealing to me, you don't matter. He's appealing to the people that actually make the decisions in this country. He's trying to get them to reason. Because this is your point that you were talking about last podcast, which is that when there was the Davos meeting, which is the real Bilderberg group of the world, it's the richest corporations and billionaires all coming together to talk about how they're going to carve up the world that year. <laughs> and carve up. Every That's year. That's a Wikipedia definition. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every year, they're always talking about... Uh, I think it was even a couple of years ago, somebody came in there and said, how about we pay more taxes? He was laughed out of the room. Yeah. But you go in now, after COVID hit, I think the general... Room vibe was, fuck, we need to start paying more taxes. Really? Guess who the only leader in the developed world was that said anything against that? Scott Morrison. Scott Morrison, I think, hasn't reached the memo yet because he's so self-obsessed. And as Albanese says, always there for the photo op, never there for the follow-up. It's it's because he, he so I think think that, about it. So I think that he's just like in such a cozy position that he doesn't have to think as tactfully as uh, Anthony Albanese is. But it seems like the general sentiment is moving back into that crisis mode that happened during World War Two, that happened through the economic shifts and turbulence of the eighties. At least the environment is fertile again for working parties to be competitive. But then there are people because like, economic systems are getting worse again. Right. So they people, need those managers to come in and actually govern. It's the same <laughs> thing. As, it's, it's the same thing you always say that like when society starts to break down and starts to go to shit, then they're like, "Oh shit, we need labor into it because they can actually like run the show." And I truly ascribe to that. Look at every time that labor has won since World War Two. It is because the oligarchy allowed them to win. How did Rudd get in last time? Yes, he had unparalleled media game that is in my new stand-up show. You can get tickets in the areas that I think I can tour in, Canberra? which is pretty much just Sydney and Lismore. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Bags> Lismore. <laughs> and <laughs> so, but I talk about it in there that he had just a genius media strategy that can't be replicated. I'll explain it in the stand-up show. There was that. But there was also the thing that he was running on this platform of, I'm going to be John Howard. Wait, Who? Scott Kevin Rudd. Oh. Kevin Rudd was just constantly assuring people, I'm going to be pretty much exactly the same as John Howard. I'm going to do something about climate change. Small target. Anti-work choices, pro doing something on climate change, going to say sorry to the Aboriginals. That was it. It was all he ran on. That's what Albanese, I think, has picked up on. When Labor's successful, they're just sitting there saying, we can just manage things for you better. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to object that too. Like, what? A better system? 
Like, how the fuck? How? You when are you? You will when see a lot of cunts on Reddit being like, that's why we need a revolution. Oh, yeah, you're really oh. doing it in your little thread with 3,000 people. <laughs> you're, you're, you're starting it there. People and would also, never leave their house that? and have agoraphobia. And also, what is that revolution? Like, we need Medicare to be slightly better. And, f- and, and second and best in the world. Yeah, yeah. Not good enough. <laughs> and we want more lentil as anything, or so whatever it's called. <laughs> Pretty much. But it's they're just already the, the idiots that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's look, if you have a Labour Party in government, you will see all of the standards of living go up for everyone. For the rich, for the poor, it all starts moving in that direction. That's what you want. You just want to look I swear this de radicalizes people. Look at the graph. When the Liberals are in, everything goes down except corporate profits. When the Labor Party's in, corporate profits go up a little slower, but so does everything else. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, true. Don't but but there's like, when, are, when are the scheduled ele- <laughs> when are the elections? When are they scheduled to be? 2021 Word or has it on the street that as soon as Scott Morrison releases the vaccine, boom, election. But there's a long time for that. Because even... Who I want to talk about that? this. Like, he really fucked up the whole vaccine thing as well. He fucked it, up it COVID. Gets no press. But, you know, like... In fact, actually, guys, if you can just help me out in the comments here. If you know of any good sources to read, and I know this is going to be like, you should listen to this ABC podcast. I won't be doing that. But <laughs> if you know of any good articles, I've probably already read them, but I'm working currently on a long, long video just outlining how much Scott Morrison fucked up Corona. Because it, the counter-narrative at least needs to be there for the history records. Mm. That not just this whitewash that happened in the press, that everything that he did of, uh, we're keeping the borders clutch. ScoMo stays tough on borders. Yeah, go ScoMo. Uh, no, actually, uh, we're going to shut them down now. Oh, Scott Morrison, a wise sage indeed. <laughs> everything that he did. <laughs> I saw a meme actually while looking through the meme reviews. I it's I don't think it's not part of the ones that we're gonna watch, but it was uh all like Daniel Andrews, Scott Morrison, Gladys, like part of a university group project, and Scott Morrison was the one that like doesn't show up until the last day. That's basically been his coronavirus strategy. Mm-hmm. It's all been the state and the one and responsibility you know the he cabinet? had was the vaccine procurement. He fucked it up. Mm. He he bet- just just on that note before yeah. you go into it. During the uh, the national cabinet that he created so he could take credit for the things that the states were doing, so he could just come out there with a joint announcement going, yeah, the federal government agrees with this. Even the Liberal uh, premiers, this is all off record, but this is what I've heard from people that were there. They were saying that the premiers basically just gave him a vote of no confidence. They were saying, fuck off. Yeah, you can take credit if you want, but can you just go sit in the sidelines and we'll handle everything? Uh, and this was even Liberal premiers. Everyone was saying, you are doing a shit job. And he's like, yeah, all right, well, give me more opportunities to take selfies. And he just left. He's brought nothing to the table. Yeah. What has he done? <laughs> nothing. It's you know what he's done? He's given us a trillion... Do- Sorry, I'm doing the album yeah, thing because we're just voice, so obsessed. But no, but th- this is his point. He's just like, he's oh. given us a trillion dollars to get and nothing to show for it. Which is insane. Is that more, true? Way more debt than this nation has ever taken on. Before that, they gave us way more debt than this nation's ever taken on for nothing. What are they buying? But now, like, it's, it's, it's the whole point that Albanese was saying. Golden opportunity to uh, reinvent the economy. Instead of what they did, Labor's policy was to use the crisis to invest a lot of money into social housing. So you're building a bunch of new housing commission because there's a big homeless crisis in Australia that no one talks about, so these people have homes. And in the meantime, you're employing a bunch of tradies and suppliers that do it, so that's just a very quick injection into the economy. That's what Kevin Rudd did with the disastrous school hall scandal. It wasn't disastrous at all. But that's what they were trying to do, is just get repairs on homes because it's a quick way to inject money into the economy and keep jobs flowing especially in Australia where everyone's either a tradie or they work for Optus, you know, that's, that, that's their jobs. And, and so buskers, let's not forget the most important The unshown Bus- hero. Buskers, that's not a job. You guys bring flavour to society. I'm a fucking busker, <laughs> get, get your hands off me. <laughs> and he just dresses like a busker, sorry. That's right. And, yeah, so he was saying that you do that into social housing. What was Scott Morrison's alternative to that? He came up with the worst disguised cash handout to your voter base I've ever seen in my life. Like, the, the, the worst pork barreling. 
he was saying that it was going to create 140,000 jobs didn't even reach 10,000. It was so poorly targeted, but all it was was just money for tradies that already have fucking houses to do up their property investment houses a little more that are already mad. Mm. That's what that their version of social housing was, and it did nothing for the economy. Most tradies didn't even take it up because they're like, but my house is mad anyway. And so I kind of just sat around, didn't inject money into the economy. As a result of that, you see all of the countries that were following Kevin Rudd's stimulus package... You see them all rebounding now. They're all having stellar returns as as. soon as the economy started moving up. Oh, man, most of Europe, even the ones that are fucked by COVID, just looked at it. France, France pretty much copied verbatim what um, uh, Kevin Rudd did. New Zealand did exactly the same thing. A lot of Asian nations, as we were saying before, it was the gold standard in the global financial crisis. Here it was just crucified. It's insane. But everywhere else in the world, it was like Kevin Rudd knew what was up. And they're all following it now. Scott Morrison did the exact opposite of what Kevin Rudd did and that's the result of it. Usually when you have a crisis and you're injecting a trillion dollars into the economy, it's a, you should be seeing booms in the economy. We're seeing a recession. Mm. Shouldn't happen. We're still in a recession, right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, no, you're no, right. Yeah. There hasn't been Just much for, for him to yeah. show for. Sorry? There, ha- there isn't like a lot... Scott Morrison gets a lot of credit for keeping Australia stable during this uh, coronavirus thing, but I don't think he had a lot to do with this. No, shit. he didn't. It was like he just took he d- took it from the unions. That's the, apparently that's what happened. Um, uh, most of the states handled it. Apparently, so did you know? Here's the other thing. This is like his fucking obsession with neoliberal policy. Do you know that? So we were supposed to procure vaccines, right? And because there's such an incredible demand for them, you had to do them last year for it to be available around March. Scott Morrison bought most of the vaccines from that Oxford Zeneca strain, which is the cheaper one. The English one, right? The English one. So like that's $3 or $4 a shot as opposed to the US one, which is like $25 or something. The US one's more effective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so like we bought... 50 million of these Oxford ones, which are apparently only 60% effective. <laughs> and that's after two shots. No. And they... <coughs> he, it was clearly, this is a massive fuck up. Yeah, that's a Because now up. if we like order more of the better vaccines, we've it's going to take... lost all that money. Well, not only have we lost the money, but we've lost time. Because every Ooh. country in the world is ordering these vaccines. So you got to get back in the queue now. Yeah, mm. yeah no problems um, with me. I understand yeah. how it wouldn't necessarily... <laughs> own only be Scott Morrison's fault. Back. No, no, it does not have my vote. Believe me. But there were a lot of... Uh, apparently, he did them because they were cheaper. He was just like, yeah, I, I feel like he doesn't even have he, policies. I feel like he just blindly sort of... is just like blindly like, you know, just, just like throwing darts. That no, he doesn't. Sense. I've been talking to journalists that have been covering prime ministers since Fraser. Everyone's of the same opinion. Well the two that I talk to, but Mm. I'm sure the ones that are just the little seagulls that he feeds every day, they love him. But (laughs) journalists with integrity, people that work for Michael West and whatnot. Yeah. He's been covering them since Fraser. They said that Scott Morrison is in a class of his own in terms of bad. And I always got that from him. And in fact, it was one of Christo's friends that pointed it out. He's just shit. Mm. (laughs) Don't you reckon you look at him and you think, you're a shit cunt? (laughs) With Malcolm Turnbull, there was something impressive about him that you were like, wow, you are pretty much just an aristocrat lifted from the 1800s. You should be running the Liberal Party. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true, that's true. He kind of just looked impressive at like, I'm sort of a dilf. That wasn't bad. That's true. At least Tony Abbott, it. a man of convictions. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I stand by it. And everybody that I talk to who is a journalist, they say, yeah, I don't agree with the guy, but he knows how to get the party started. He's a good dude. And he has a sense of civic duty. Yeah. Obviously, Malcolm Turnbull didn't because he just walked in and said, well, I ran a bank so I can run a country. <laughs> but <laughs> at least Abbott held a hose. Yeah. At least Abbott held a hose. I mean, he fought fires. And for he held sake. many a hose too. Another what are you is suggesting that he's secretly gay? No, <laughs> hoes. I mean, that's what prostitute. I got from that too. Come on, as if Tony Abbott. I don't know. Oh, hoes. Hoes. <laughs> that was actually a much better play on words than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't think so, though. 
Come on, as if Tony Abbott. Oh, he maybe, seems I like don't know. I'm pretty sure point. that he was having an affair when he was prime minister. Oh, okay. Well, he My was. Bad. Isn't that like open now? With well, this guy it's open but not confirmed. Just kind of like Alan Jones. Ah, that's it's open. Yeah, like, right. you can yeah, see it on their face. Wasn't. You can still see a little bit of dick marks. But on her having face. said that, wouldn't Jesus. you? Sorry, you that poll, was too much. Would you go Credlin? I'm saying yeah, I'd do it. I, I, I go for it. Nah, you can't. You wouldn't. So nah. What? She looks like Batman. It'll be like fucking Bruce Wayne. What? Yeah, that jaw. That is not who I would have thought of. That jaw. I don't know. I don't like know what she looks Batman. like. But I'm just gonna say no as well. <laughs> My nickname for her is the Scream. But yeah, she, <laughs> look, I'm always very impressed by fifty year olds that don't look like they're fifty. Just for that, I'll give them one. Man, woman, She's 50. even though I'm heterosexual, I'll give Tony one for that. She's fifty. <laughs> what? She's fifty. She must be. She doesn't look a day over forty three. So that hey, is we're, impressive. We're not, the, we're not the up late Twitch. Uh, we're not Anyways, the up late uh, <laughs> should we should we move on to the, our first ever meme yeah, review section? I want to do that. I yes, we should. That. But I just have a quick question about Kankian. Do you think that this is a good idea? We're going to start a series just called The Adventures of Albo. Do you think it's good to start off and let me know with a video where Albo's in a Rabbitohs jersey? He's walking around his calf main streak of glebe and he gets mugged. He <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah. And pretty much the, the structure that we've got so far is give me your wallet. Yeah, okay, mate, no worries. I'll just chalk that down for job keeper and your passport. I wouldn't be needing that these days. <laughs> Going through all of it. Fine. And then finally he says, just giving it all away, being really nice about it. Then he says, and give me that Rabbitohs jersey too. Big your pardon, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that'll work? I, I well, what, what's everyone's work. comments about I that? We really works. need to start putting him into the zeitgeist as a meme. Yeah, yeah I says, agree. Get I him agree. He needs to become a meme. Yeah, he does. He does. Everyone else is at a shot. I, this I sounds think. awesome. Credlin is Grinch. Get him mugged by a Cole Fitzgibbon. This, both parties. Look, it's good. It's good. People, People like it. it. People All right. Like it. All right. Thank you for your contribution. We have <laughs> enough yeses now. <laughs> Everyone's in. The it. yeses have it. There is no no. Hell yeah. All right, shall we move on to our first meme review segment ever? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. That is a meme. Oh, and uh, am if, I gonna, you am are, if, if you are, if you enjoy us looking at memes that you look at and having exactly the same response that you do, of, uh, that's funny. <laughs> you like that? So do we. <laughs> so make sure that you give us more. Send them to our Lee's Instagram. Proton Mail or whatever. Uh, his Instagram. That's right, because he wants more, more followers. Female followers. Not on female. It. Yes, yes, you do. Those are the only ones you Just accept. Followers. Jeez. Sometimes because you really have. I don't know why, but you oh, have such a bad. Get on there. Yeah, no, that is not true. That is not, please do not get me in trouble. No, no female followers. No male followers. Rare. Which was probably the worst strategy because, like, Instagram it's format is really difficult to do this. <laughs> it shouldn't be called Ali's Instagram account. It should be called Ali's harem. <laughs> it is not I swear true. he doesn't have any men there harem. except for he'll go through it every now and then. But hang on, that's a guy that has Jimbo Jones hair. To fuck. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come on. Let me let me put this up. Watch so are we? Well, that needs to be a lot dude? bigger than I thought. And can my head not be cut out? Is that possible? <laughs> We do need to sell this as an image, Ali. <laughs> Wait a sec, Ali. Can you get me on your phone so we can watch it? Or <laughs> we're live here. What do you expect for? Well, the I was just explaining. Watch that face. We'll do it. Wait. Can anyone? This, this is so sad. Can anybody out there help Ali out? All right. All right. Well, whenever you guys are ready. Here. Don't you need the phone on? Yeah, well, you guys need it's it. On it's on live. All right, <laughs> press the play. Here's the but first one. Yeah, you, Muslim, you go next. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, first uh, one. I do really like this meme format. Huge fan of King of the Hill, and I do like the fact that Bobby is, looks like a fat 40-year-old, because that is <laughs> what a lot of Texan kids look like. It's awesome. Lip syncing to, Lip -syncing to music is not a talent. All the TikTok heads. Yeah, and then what does it say? If those kids could read, they'd be very upset. Fair. 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 I'm calling it now. It didn't uh, make me laugh, but it did make me think I'm too about to this that world that was being created in this new digital era. Very scary. Very troubling. 
This should just be on uh, Stand Up Australia, (laughs) ACT. No, what's that show? But they would sit all the every single person on Stand Up Australia. What the fuck's TikTok? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> what's that show? The girl did on from Crikey. It was like the sh- the shattered or something. The or struggle. This is like the struggle. No, <laughs> it's not like the struggle. It's inside. Okay, 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 okay. okay all man. right, tell me when you go. Move Sorry. on to the next. Let's one. move on to the next. Next one. Wow, well, yeah, so it's, it's on there for a long time. Slowly. Yeah, here we go. Hotel room three three two. Just there. Okay, cool. Well, you're going to have to read it out because this oh, is yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, Can you do the And I am going to have to understand how smartphones work. So we're all learning here. <laughs> it's online. <laughs> ah, so you read them out. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Hotel. Room 332. Enjoy your stay. Dad. I assume the porn is disabled. Hotel. No, it's only regular porn, you sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. I like. Hey, that. This is just Mad Magazine, but no one's getting paid to make these. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what memes are. I think you just nailed memes. Mad Magazine for free. Mad Maga memes. Well, there's only one word for that. Mad. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me when you're on the next one. All right. We're just playing the video. God, we are boomers. There it is. Yep. There has to be a better way I, of I doing can, this. I can, I can read. I it can really read. Really does. One. Her. Hey, hold it's all right. We're just going with the flow. All right. Her, my panties are really hard to get into. Her panties. Sorry, sorry, one second, one second. <laughs> you know what else? I do like the addition of the fact that Miss Love reading it out sounds like an Australian Bill Burr reading. <laughs> you know, it's like, dear Bill Burr. Oh, fuck, that's my name. I'm fucking sick of people saying I can't read. I fucking know. <laughs> uh, dude, this one's my favorite so far. That's Wait, really are funny. Are you only the next one? Okay. N- no, no, yeah. We, this one's your favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite so far. That's that's really funny. <laughs> How many uh, of those troll faces out of ten do you give it? What troll? Oh, what? what tro- oh, my face, pretty much. Somebody yeah, just yeah. drew my face <laughs> and put it out there, and I, I still want royalties for that. I give it like an eight. That's really funny. Oh, that, that's a very high mark. I give it an eight, dude. What'd you? But give it? Miss is a very easy scorer. Yeah, when yeah. Miss is memes. super easy. I am. I am. Doesn't am. count, but Miss. Yeah, it doesn't. You're right. All I right. do oh, like do Ali's memes. He always sends me. Let's start rating these. They're, they're not even memes. It's just photos of pov cunts from Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And mine are just <laughs> exclusively like Simpsons memes, aren't they? Yeah. And I'm fans of both yeah. equally. Yeah. yeah. All right, have you moved on to the next one? Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. just let it load. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're good. Oh, it's a video? No, 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 but there will be a video. Okay. A chan line. All right. All right. Is this it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I won't get this one. Tita. You should tata, get this one. Hey, In fact, mama. don't you have that as a blanket? That <laughs> pretty little bear. <laughs> pretty much, mama, tata, Tito. So they. Ins- so it's it's mum, dad, and then Tito at the top. Is that insinuating that Tito is more important than those two? Yes. One out of ten. Very troubling. This was and I give it a solid ten. I know. This was specifically sent for Jordan. And I wanted to include it because it, even though it's shit, it's something that Jordan would pay. And I don't even think that it is a meme. Isn't that just a book? I think <laughs> it is, yeah. Ali, what's your view on Tito? What would you give this out of uh, troll faces? Eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of I ten? I like Tito. Thank you. Finally. Somebody talking common sense about political issues that don't affect anyone in Australia from 30 years ago. Okay, this one, you're going to have to zoom in. <laughs> well, this is going to take a long time to decipher, and I'm very glad that you knew your reading comprehension skills and sent it over to me. Dude, I was, there's no way I was You've seen this that. one Move before. it away from the somewhat illiterate guy to the man with one eye that also, <laughs> because of that, is somewhat illiterate. We're and keep fun. it, for the love of God, keep it away from the guy with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the size for our audience to work. Dude, let's just smash it out. Go, Jordan, you you one one two punch this one. Just go, roll them off. The, who's the nerd? What's the nerd guy saying? Okay, the virgin millennial friendly Geordie's viewer, and I'm already on board. Mm-hmm. I do think that. The- so I think this is how the science works. If there's more Such mega, such a bad generation. So uh, sorry, let's let's get on with it. Uh, Hung up on nostalgia for shit things. I mean, it's pretty fair. Remember Dragon Ball Z? But actually, fuck off. Dragon Ball Z. I'm mad. in that catalogue, but yeah, go on. All right, what about this, though? Remember Dragon Ball GT? No, no. because it was on Toasted TV. It didn't have Jade and Ryan. GT right? sucks. And here we are. Just proving our generation yeah. points. Remember, come on. Jane Ryan, greatest Australians there are. Absolutely. Even better than Bert Newton. Absolutely. Uh... 
Low key depressed, just wishes he was back in high school when Kevin Rudd was PM and when he was actually optimistic about the future, which I think is a big reason that we like him. This is because us. that is the whole reason I was scared in front of Kevin Rudd when I interviewed him for the first time. This is us sitting this there thinking, us. "Oh fuck, you were on Hamish and Andy." <laughs> <laughs> Rove. Uh, it's whoever made this is on point. Ask Miss Love obscure questions on the podcast. It's a bit cut off for us. Ask Miss Love obscure questions about music on the podcast. <laughs> yes, that is exactly like the the reason that Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson got rid of their Q and A <laughs> at the end of their talks because everyone would sit there going, oh, "What's your opinion on Chopin?" And ninety seven percent of the audience doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember yeah. Pokemon? Do you remember Cheese TV? It's the same point. It's getting a bit grating now that you know us so well. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I like Jordan, but not sure about his take. Bad word. The take. If I could take. erase one word from the English language. Take. Our generation has ruined that word. Yeah. On China. Thank you. I knew I wasn't crazy. That's <laughs> Somebody that. finally gets it. That Mao is the greatest leader of all time. Don't take that out of context, AUWU Panthera. Wrong. Wrong. I'm not backing that. <laughs> you're Panthera. right. You're right. Tito. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> nah. But yeah, like, we're just having a laugh here, I like aren't we? Jade and Ryan I are like better. some of our fans that point out the hot takes. They say, uh, AUWU, do not clip 1451. <laughs> Brackets, Panthera. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, we're just going to chuck that in there, darling. Works in IT. Jesus, they're just uh, describing someone that used to work for us, aren't they? <laughs> the Chad Gen Z friendly Geordie's viewer. Makes memes Jordan doesn't understand but laughs at. Anyway, well, isn't that exactly what's happening right yeah. now? <laughs> in real time. Realise that Labour will never win early on in life. Doesn't give a fuck. That's why he's focused on going to the gym. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, kids. The entire channel's a ruse. Uh, <laughs> barely remembers the last Labor federal government. <laughs> I've seen this one, I'm just realising. I've seen yeah. this one before. It's well, cool. that is pretty much Chris Joe. The only reason he remembers Kevin Wright is because he went to his house once and said, how are you going there, mate? Are you playing with a truck? Yes. Whoa. I think that's the only reason he likes the Labor Party. <laughs> pretty much the only so, memory that I have of my mum, John Howard, winning the election and then pointing to him and going, see that, Jordan? That's a bad man. And that explains the next 30 years. Yeah, that explains mine where my mum was like, very good man, this one. Yeah. Barely remembers the last... Oh, yeah. Fuck the Greens and the US Empire. Glory to the CCP. <laughs> that's why the Gen Z is a chat. Jesus. Glory. <laughs> How glory. on board are you with... Uh, Miss, are you on that train? No, look, I would like to pick in... This is what I would do. I'm basically the first sad guy and then I'm on board with, like, everything up until glory to the CCP. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So he's... Off board, one word. Yeah. Ali, are you on that train? Um, I often wear a shirt that says glory to the CCP. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you can get away with Fuck that. Fuck the trend. Oh, no, we've lost it again. Oh, for oh, fuck. Right. We are the first person. Look at us. All right, we got locked out again. Oh, John <laughs> Lane. And, yeah, finally, uh, cringes at Jordan's TikToks. Fuck off there, man. <laughs> you haven't done one. No, I hate yet. this meme now. One out of ten. But I think you are right. TikTok. Hey, we've got to start doing it. And dude, also, dude. do you think that this would get uh, more views? Sorry, that we just keep using you as a focus group now in the podcast. You're really just watching Danos Direct <laughs> for me. But I would like to ask you, do you think that doing a daily update on TikTok of 15 seconds, say that Scott Morrison is making headlines, just a 15-second TikTok impersonating him, and then a 15-second TikTok impersonating Albo when he makes the headlines? I think that's going to be some way to get growth. I don't know how to get growth on that shit. Dude, definitely. You know why? You know why my TikToks suck? Because I know how to read a book. That's the only problem with Gen Z. It's just you sit there, you watch people like me that read books, and you pick all the fruits and you study none of the roots. Just, Other than that, just, you're a golden generation. Just, Let's move on to the next. Why, why, why go for a... Uh, why go for... Um, why Wait, go for steak played? when you... Why, why go for steak when you... No, why go for burger when you can get steak? Go to the forest hole TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Which, so I think this is how the science works. If there's more megawatts in your food, really badly filming a number plate, 
and then being like, uh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, do you know how to Zoom? You're like, yeah, yeah, I know how to Zoom. And you do not know how to Zoom. <laughs> and then you're going, yeah, it said, get, it said, yes, man. No, oh, I uploaded that. And it got like 3,000 views or something, which is huge Can for me. just say that, Miss Love's phone is not a smartphone. <laughs> it is an intellectually disabled phone it's due to accidents. It is. It has a handicap. It does. I've you can't film this no. way, so you have to film this way. <laughs> and he's sitting there saying, I don't know how to zoom in. I technically do. It probably would have been shitter this way, but we'll never know. Uh, hey, it's creative. Right. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll move on to the we'll next one. one. We'll one the sorry, corner. sorry. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. This So I think this is how the science works. If there's more megawatts in your food, then that means that there's more energy for your body. I do your body's energy do intake is measured in megawatts. It's measured in kilojoules, okay? Your information is From that Rick and Morty, I never really liked that show as much as Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is there a pickle in that one? It made a lot more sense when the doctor was a lobster. So, somebody actually sent me that previously. Them. I'm going to play it again because I don't think I played it right for them. So no, you, one you did. It makes no sense. I've watched it before. and wait, it was wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let So I think this is how the science works. If there's more megawatts in your food, then that means that there's more energy for your body. Your body's energy intake is measured in megawatts. It's measured in kilojoules, okay? Your information is platinum. No. Can you let me in on the joke instead of the joke being, oh, he doesn't get it. Oh. I think that's the joke. I, I no, really, the joke really is... Just, there's one thing that I, I don't like about 18 year olds. Go. What do you mean? So the joke is someone is trying to impersonate you mm. and because you got one detail wrong, the energy of humans are measured in kilojoules and you used a different unit system. That's it. It's just a nerd joke. That's, but that's my voice. That sucks. No, that's my voice for the people. Well, here. the first one was your voice, but I think the second one was someone trying to impersonate you. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was someone impersonating listen, you. Listen they did pretty well. Th that that was impressive. Do you want to do it again? No, 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 that's all right. I think we've seen enough of pickle rip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give that zero out of ten. Next like, one. What does that mean? Okay. Next one. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and remixing Kanye, you gotta love that. <laughs> Isn't that all? Oh, great! Thank you so much for somebody making that song listenable, dude. This is a ten out of ten. The yeah. content, yeah, finally, dude. That and it's actually accurate too. It's just like Illuminati, inset, like really, really, really intense information. Like I love. <laughs> Bravo to whoever made that. Bravo, that was incredible. Oh, I was what a way to, to finish it. Well done. Incredible. Finish on a high. I was supposed to do shout outs, but I don't remember anyone's name. Well, 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 that's the same as the channel. That's the only run through between the channel and the podcast. <laughs> and new Paul Ali, stop. Okay, look, sorry guys. I understand how this might not have been the best <laughs> way to do review memes. <laughs> Ali, stop. But if you've got a better suggestion, we'd love to hear about <laughs> yeah, it. And we also, would really like to continue this as it is a cheap, easy it. way because, to get people okay, to click on these videos. Paul ended. Ali, stop. Yes, 94%. <laughs> <laughs> no, I disagree. That was. Good. Oh, maybe the voice was too high. Sorry, my bad. Right, right, right. right. Too loud, too loud. Too yeah. Loud. Well, well, that's well, let's be honest. That's never going to change. That yeah. will always be a pervasive thing. But if we can do that, but also. If you can send us videos in the future and tutor Ali on how to do that in a non-Pakistani way, Stop, that would be What really is Pakistani about? It? I think I said uh, the volume. What wasn't, wasn't Pakistani high. about that? <laughs> What is a Pakistani about this entire setup? Let's look at it. The flag. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, barely. They're still pretty British. All right. Like, uh, this, but this, 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 this was pretty bad. I understand meme reviews. I liked it. But Guys, in true Ali style, well, man. six I months from it. now, it'll be 10% better. <laughs> Let's see through with this. Exactly. But if you can in the future, yes, I do really like uh, people paying me out uh, in mean form that <laughs> never hurts the ego at all that's great but the other thing that we would really like is for you to just give us comments that we can then upload just like joe rogan has that little green box in the corner going huh north sentinelese mm. those guys look dope 
We want to move. We want to get into an MMA fight with them. Yeah, more towards the muscles are. Yeah. Yeah. So we want a bunch of videos and memes that are up to date, if you will. That's a good idea. I like that. Actually, it's kind of fun. It's a bit of fun. That was good. I really like that last one. That also, get so used to it. That is going to be half the podcast from now. On. <laughs> and we're cutting out Ali's insightful commentary just to make room for it. <laughs> I mean, we are on Twitch. We should have been doing this a long time ago. Yes. Everyone I think does. this was this You should have understood was... what Twitch was. That would have been a good start. <laughs> hey, you, you're not doing it either. Mm. You're the one seeing hey, he's drinking about... Soda Stream. He's figured it out. No. It, that's true. But isn't it pathetic that I'm at that age? What? I never thought it would happen what where I wasn't it? down with the youth, but it uh-huh. was my niece at Christmas just setting me aside and going, let me just let me just teach you about the platform that you use for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. But yeah. Shout out Matilda. Thank you so much for giving me these updates, as the kids call them with a Z at the end. It has helped a lot, as you can plainly see from my video recently bombing. But <laughs> in general, it's been yeah. doing pretty good. I, I really appreciate it. And I think that that's what we're going to be doing. It's just uh, moving away from politics and moving into YouTube drama of I think men that's that fun. wear makeup. I think Finally, that's fun. yay! Hey, you no, no. Politics is also important. It's a mixed bag, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to I don't Triple think it R. Is. <laughs> For our interview today, <laughs> they need. We, we love you guys. Two triple R uh, Gladesville, but yeah, and I, feel I like also have to point this out about the triple R Gladesville thing. Used to do it there, boys. That's so, so cool. Just understand, triple R was the nicest community radio station is that, that I went to. All the other ones kicked me out. That's so cool. And you know what I think it is? I truly think this. I think that it was small egos because let's be honest, the people that are heading community radio stations Mm. are bad at their job. (laughs) Otherwise, they would be in government (laughs) or commercial radio. And so then they just get somebody who can go on the microphone and say, you're listening to Triple R, that was clearly... (laughs) And then they just... uh, We love you, yeah. Well, They can't dig that and then they always just go around the point of we're not keeping you on why because you didn't put 30 percent of your uh, broadcast about doing african techno remixes <laughs> <laughs> about you, you didn't play kelly clarkson enough we played her for 60 percent precisely <laughs> yeah what do you think this is commercial radio <laughs> yeah we get to we have our own photos to qu- quotas to fill and that quota is Kelly Clarkson. But I do respect people who are able to walk both of those lines. Yeah. I th- I'm very bad at it. Ali's very good at it. Ali would be awesome in an Middle Eastern medieval court as one of those advisors. Sharia court. That Sharia that court? Probably. Would have been, Sharia wouldn't court? It, it would have yeah. been Sharia. Dude, the... the the title of personality, it doesn't matter. Whatever kind of court, I just fit in. Right, right, right. <laughs> I reckon he'd be awesome in it. He would definitely be one of those chief advisors sitting there going, yeah, dude, I don't know. Do what you want. Do you want to do some gardening, man? That's fine. You want some shisha? He'd be <laughs> sick at it. Do you want to get high, man? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I do. Because <laughs> I am. Sorry, sorry. I said I want to. I'm trying to communicate with the gods. <laughs> We're in the Middle East. Really, it's a given. I think he would be... An amazing, I don't know, what what do they call it again? Courtier? Um, Those people that kind of just Gautier. do fuck all. They're sort of part of the aristocracy. They just hang Advisors. there. Advisors. Gautier? No, there was a name for it. <laughs> Gautier. Gautier. Courtesans were Ready, whores, there. right? The Middle East is one of those big, like, flowing, you know, gold, yeah. whatever they you are. You didn't have to cut my head off. <laughs> <laughs> Took the bed Sharia I, and the ten and let the Sharia was nothing. <laughs> Jordan, I want to hear another segment, which I think I want to hear more about it. When I walked in, you said you wanted to talk about Armenian Azerbaijan. Yeah, there's a subject. I've got to admit one thing. I don't know a lot about it. Neither do I. I was hoping you did. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you a know little bit about, about it, it. But tell me, tell me more. Well, I, can we get something up? Because I'm giving you a preview to a video that's coming out in a couple of weeks. He's dropping so many dimes are you, on this. Are you sure you want to give this preview, though? Yes, I do. Okay. Because you need to see this, is this by the way, a, Is this, by the way, a racy take? Like, what's the narrative? Let's I don't have enough knowledge to even have a 
racy insert the word that must not be named. Uh, Thank you very much for that, but I will admit that the top 40 sound effects did help. (laughs) (laughs) It is a fucked word, isn't it? Bad. Bad tiger. Bad tiger, Have you ever noticed that anyone that says that is a dumb fuck <laughs> and always has bad takes themselves? That's uh, a shin in 21, having a bad opinion. Tar. What does that mean? Like, your opinion. your your opinion is, opinion. Not, does, is not congruent to mine. Yes. Pretty much. That's all yes. I mean. Oh, no, it's not even that. It's I your disagree. opinion is not congruent to the overall narrative. Mm. That's what it is. There um, you go. What? No, I'm just, I'm just agreeing with you. I don't know much about the Armenia-Azerbaijani conflict, but I've been looking into it a bit for a video that's coming out soon. <laughs> Fuck. It's not a war. It's a goddamn extermination. That's what I... The best, the I'll give you a little summary before we get to that. But Armenia is backed by the Israelis because they exchange gas for weapons. Wait, are you mean Azerbaijan is backed by the Israelis? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, Azerbaijan is. Good. Good Armenia job. is backed by Putin sometimes <laughs> when he feels like it. Because yeah. this is this was my understanding. I thought there was there was like a cold war between Turkey and Russia. And Turkey was supporting Azerbaijan and Russia was supporting oh, Armenia. Yes. That makes sense. But that they're all on the same team when it comes to this geopolitics because uh, from my understanding, Israel and the US want the gas reserves from Azerbaijan. And this is the whole thing. Everybody always talking about how much of a bad place Turkmenistan is because they saw the John Oliver interview. I, I'm saying it now. There is very little that I like about that whole Reddity American crowd that do YouTube and have less followers than Miss Love, right? But <laughs> hey, killing two birds with one stone, it. getting my point across and paying <laughs> out Miss Love. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I I, it's, I don't deserve any less, Master. <laughs> <laughs> You were my landlord. <laughs> there, there, there's some I'll justice that, in the world. I'll answer that the only way, the most appropriate way I know how. Say can. Say can. <laughs> what does that mean? That'll make sense in a second. That'll make sense. <laughs> but Turkmenistan, if you look at because you'll see this, this John Oliver <laughs> is nothing bit of CIA spook. You'll never guess that I'll have that opinion on a, on world politics. Somebody is working for the CIA. <laughs> but I surprise, swear, or maybe surprise. the MI6 because he got a British accent. I don't know. But uh, It could be Interpol. Let's not lock him all out. <laughs> that could genuinely be a thing. Maybe like CIA just like leak him information. It was like, how about you do something on the on this Well, his, his opinions when it comes to global politics match up entirely Verbatim. with what the US Empire would want them to be. But... He adds, you know, just a little bit of nuance here and there, but not really. Just says, now, to be fair, when he's not being fair. I guess and, not. of course, every single joke involves a dog playing a piano. Uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, I, I've, I'm sorry, I can't. He's just a very poor taker of the mantle from Jon Stewart. Yeah, he's he not. Really but is, is he still as big as he used to be? Yes. I don't know. Well, he still gets 10 million views when he's doing a little Skype update that everybody does now in mm. the days of Corona, fake virus. <laughs> China virus. But, uh... <laughs> look, 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 like, 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 when you see his views on Turkmenistan, it's just... Look, yes, they have an eccentric billionaire that's corrupt as the leader, but he also has markedly improved the living standards of everyone in that country. You can see it. Um, again, it's just graphs don't lie. You can see that the quality of life is going up. I've been there. Look, in Australia, not every homeless person has access to a house. Are you in about Australia, Turkmenistan cleaners again? aren't living in really pimp apartments. Yes, they have Fuck. gas, but we've got everything. We have gas, we have coal, we have oil, we have solar. There's Eddie no McGuire? excuse. We've got Eddie McGuire. I it took you Turkmenistan like four, doesn't have that. Four minutes to revert back to Turkmenistan. We get it. 
it's kind of cool. Like, let's move on. But I was just saying it's a just fucking country. Con- sorry, sorry. No, but no, I'm just no, saying but he's like, giving, he's giving, there's a context uh, to that. It's sorry, just, sorry, it's you're like, right. It's the bane of my life. So do you know there's nice, there's white buildings? Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, go on. Yeah, go on, go on. <clears throat> Jesus. I'm so much more autistic than Wait, you. Wait, so why is Azerbaijan so bad compared it's to... It's clean and there's not many people there. And it's symmetrical. I want to live there. <laughs> why is Azerbaijan uh, bad compared to Armenia? What's the beef? So, look, it, on the other side of the Caspian, because you will see this, you will see them constantly disparaging Turkmenistan. Because Why? Because it's neutral. Azerbaijan is not neutral. And it has exclusive contracts with its gas that it won't just be selling it to the highest bidder of the day it'll be selling it to Israel. That'll be its first go-to stop. And uh, them, as a result, are given all of these modern military weapons. And it's so scary because it's modern military weapons without the checks and balances of nuclear weapons between the two. While, um, so it's just like a, a tribal war that's been happening for thousands of years. Or at least hundreds. Apparently, Azerbaijan swallowed a huge chunk of Armenia's land, like, last month. Yes. Like, they took it, and they're saying it's theirs. And Armenia is apparently so weak that they're well, like, well, what can well, we it's do? It's one of those things mm. where it's, like, quote-unquote contested. It's kind of like the well, Israel-Palestine yeah, thing. I, yeah, I, I understand it's, it's contested, but, look, like, I don't think that bit is contested. Like, nah. there was a bit of a war, and there was a ceasefire. Azerbaijan kind of won. But yeah. the whole reason that it's there is because Azerbaijan just has this border that they say, well, this like arbitrary line exists and it's in here, so it's ours. That's their claim to it. Armenia's claim is, yeah, but it's filled with medieval churches and you fucks are Muslim. So it's clearly like the Armenians have been living here for centuries, if not millennia. And what, 90% of the population or something is Armenian? It's probably not that, but mm. a clear majority are Armenian. And they voted after the Soviet Union collapsed to stay as part of Armenia. But that's the whole thing now. It's just the arms race, because they started selling their gas to Israel and the US, has just gone <laughs> a one side. Armenia doesn't weird. have any gas, I'm guessing? I don't know if they do or don't. All I know is when you look at the comparison between the two militaries combined, which I think was a Pakistani guy going, Hello, thank you for watching this video. What? This has the same introduction as every tech advice video you'll ever <laughs> look up. <laughs> but instead it has heaps of pictures of cunts getting bombed. Also, <laughs> hey, that's all already live. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of there was a lot of love from Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah, because dude, you have to explain yeah. this part, Ali. This is where you come because in, but I just have to explain <laughs> that all the cunts that are giving love from Pakistan have that same picture, and you need to explain the logic behind this first, of them in a suit, staring <laughs> as if it's like a family portrait with just them. It's like the most formal photo I've ever seen, and every single time, I love Azerbaijan, love from Pakistan. <laughs> 142 likes. Yeah, that's that's like the fucking army division like activating their sleep or stuff to like put out the propaganda. Oh, so, so who are those guys in the suits? Why are they wearing suits? Well, maybe they're like part of bureaucracy, but like the official thing is always support Azerbaijan because right. Pakistan has like few friends. The only like really reliable all weather friends are like are China, Turkey, Malaysia. So Turkey. Whatever Turkey wants, Pakistan is going to be on board for. And whatever Pakistan wants, Turkey is going to be on board for. And Turkey likes Azerbaijan. So by default, it doesn't matter what the facts are. The Pakistan Foreign uh, Service, everyone will just blanketly support Azerbaijan, mm. not Armenia. Mm. Like, it's just the official position that mm. they have. Right. That's like expecting America to support a Russian faction. Not going to happen. Like, whatever the facts are, they will support the non-Russian faction. You know what it reminds me of? The conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan really is India versus Pakistan minus nukes. Minus it's just if nuclear weapons didn't exist, Pakistan yeah. would be India tomorrow. That's what, like, yeah, yeah. That's what, like, a lot of uh, really, yeah. Except really? Pakistan is backing India. Well, if if it's not like part of India, then it would be like heavily influenced by India. Like it's game over. Wait, so yeah. you're saying that Pakistan's army is like way more massive than India's? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no Pakistan's opposite. way weaker. Oh. Better trained, but weaker. Oh, so Pakistan has nuclear weapons, and if they didn't, yeah. Oh, I got you. It's less than one third of the Indian army. Whoa, yeah. that's just by sheer numbers, right? Sheer numbers by war of attrition. Yeah. It'd be I mean, I think of, I think of, uh, I think of, 
Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia. That conflict is like Israel Palestine, and like Armenia is uh, Palestine. Nah, it's not that cut and dry. I don't know how they've survived for so long because they've got Turkey constantly culling yeah, them from one side. I know, but you have Azerbaijan culling them from the other. So it's it's really and weird as well. Like they're Christian in the middle of all these Muslim nations. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I don't know, and I'm really not qualified to talk about this. But then again, what is this podcast <laughs> other than that? Well, that entire area used to be Christian. Like after the Ottomans. Slowly, that area became more and more Muslim, except for like Armenia. Like Turkey itself used to be Christian. It what? used to be like the center of Christianity. Constantinople, Istanbul was Whoa. like the, uh, the the Christian city until, um, well, the, the Muslims took over, and then eventually most of the Christians became Muslim. But how did well. Armenia just hold fight out. the good fight and just be this lone crusader state? Because like, <laughs> there's a misconception like they were forced to be Muslims. Um. There's a lot of like, a, ter- once the Ottomans came into power, like in order to basically become kind of uh, rich and successful, you had to do it the Ottoman way. Mm. And so more and more people started becoming, and also like the so Ottomans. So they stuck to their guns. I'm liking Armenia more and more. They, they did seem like really really principled In people. fact, to the point where like there was a genocide where Turkey wanted to make yeah. them Muslims, and then Armenian which till genocide. this day d- d- Turkish denied. Yeah, the Armenian. So they really did stick you know to Australia, their guns. Australia, Australia and has also recognized uh, it. Australia is like one of the only countries. Most a lot of countries are now recognizing. I think the US it, have has. recognized it. It seems to be all the vogue to support Armenia, right? Except when you get into real deep state US. But right. I think even presidents and stuff would come out and say, what is happening in Armenia is very troubling. Yeah. We're going to continue funding both sides. That's that exactly what happens. That's <laughs> exactly what happens. Like, whatever's happening in Armenia Jesus. is troubling. We support human rights, but we will continue funding anyone that's fucking them over because they have more power. Mm. And we'd rather have a stronger friend than a loser, and uh, like a loser friend. Yeah. But Australia did... Early on, Australia recognized the Armenian genocide because it, it yeah, because it it's a Christian nation standing up for other Christian nations. Dude, right? Um, no, that's because like Turkey that's started going rogue. That's the other thing. Like we think like oh, our country is great. No, it was because like after Erdogan, the West started disliking Turkey a little bit, and they were like, hey, hold on a minute, oh, didn't you commit a genocide? Ten years later, they conveniently ignored all of that. I will say uh, this, though, about Azerbaijan, to anybody who is Azerbaijani listening to this. First off, I assume you're hot. But <laughs> second, you're going to hate this point even more, Miss. Oh, go on. The uh, capital, it's really cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do hate it more. What about Why, Armenia? How many white buildings what? are there? Yeah, Armenia sucks. It's the same thing as when you go to the border of India and Pakistan and India's border is mad. They've obviously spent a year's GDP on that <laughs> one area and then Pakistan just has a school building, I guess, as its uh, like entry yeah. to Pakistan. That, that is the same thing when you look at the Armenian capital and the Azerbaijani capital. One of them is Bowling. Can you guess which one? Yeah. yeah. I have seen photos and, and of it. And did, do like you remember the, the Pakistani security guards were extremely excited that uh, Jordan, like a white person, was there? In Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we went to the parade, right? Because Indian side is just a massive complex. It's, it's a stadium. And our side was really tiny compared it's to this. It's, you know what it is? It's a rural town's footy field. Versus, like, uh, you know, ANZ Stadium. Yeah, yeah. That's Whoa. the difference. Because right? they just have so many more fucking people, too, and they always come. So when, when I went there, we were really late. We went there, but like, the parade had already started. So we go there thinking, oh, shit, would we be able to find a seat? And I go up to them and it's like, would we be able to find a seat? They kind of ignore me. And then they look at behind me is Jordan. So they get really excited. Oh, shit, there's a white guy. We need to show him off to the Indian. So they're like, you go sit at the front. And I was like, but there's people there. It's like, don't worry. Two minutes later, there won't be people over <laughs> there. They, they randomly. Man. Wait, 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 what was the soccer game? No, 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 no. Their version of soccer. What was yeah. it? A Raising race. the flag at the end of the day because they have this little border rally, I suppose it is. Yeah. It's a theater performance. Who can performance raise almost. the flag what fastest? The hell? And you know what I got to say? It was the funnest thing I've ever done. But it they was so r- funny. Wait a second, wait a Dude, Diplomats on either side of the border have been like, quick, quick. No, not, not diplomats. diplomats. Specially trained soldiers that I imagine get paid heaps. What is? Yeah. What the fuck is that? And they need to be like really tall. 
Because what is this world? And, and like pretty much just DJ Khaled there <laughs> hyping up the crowd. Yeah. Are you fucking it was amazing. serious, dude? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a thing to see. It's like extremely entertaining. But I think the it's all I summed up the weird. fact that when two was going there, she was looking all un like worried and stuff like that. And then the atmosphere is so infectious because it's just that guy sitting there being like, everybody now chant. Pakistan and there we go Pakistan so they're really goes nuts and then India's doing exactly the same thing but they're both just trying to drown each other out Fuck. and so everybody's just getting more and more excited so it's just a Tony Robbins concert in the third world <laughs> so, they're, so they really hate each other yeah. yeah, that was yes, more dude. of a they have nukes aimed at each other they Do hate they? each other yeah. Jesus a, a more show than Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> Would you believe? Dude, I really wish I went. The more stories I hear, the more I'm like, that is a unique trip. Yeah, it was amazing. But you saw that and then two just kept getting more and more hyped up going at the end. Just being, yeah, go Pakistan. And she was cheering it on and she was so excited that I turned to Harley and then Harley turns to me and says, man, this is juvenile. <laughs> 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 Dude, I got the feeling. I got the feeling, Ali, that a lot of the time there, you were embarrassed for your own country. Well, uh, it, I remember. A lot the, of the I remember years. the slow decline into that. Like <laughs> it was every day that passed, he was just like really excited that two of my friends have come over and see my home country. Yeah, okay, that guy is uh, riding a donkey. That's uh, pretty lame. Uh, then we just move on to that. Uh, just kids in hijabs. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot about how Muslim is places. And then it just kept going down and down. And then I remember, like, at the eighth one, there was two moments of the man, and then the other man one was just, like, he was trying to get onto a plane, and then, like, they just decided, uh, we're not going to run the plane anymore. And they were saying, why? And like, nobody knows. They're just, they're just a mystery. The plane isn't going anymore. And so I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? This fucking country. And I was just like, can, can we stay here? And they're like, no, no, you can't stay here either. So, okay, so you've cancelled our flight and you're kicking us out for five hours. So he takes us to a park. We go into the park. Like everything in Pakistan, it's really dirty, but you have to pay to go into the park anyway. So pretty much only what? the elite can go into this park anyway. Okay. And then Ali turns to me again and goes, man, this country sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in fairness, it's Ali, all look, true. It's, it's all, all true, true. But it is all true. It's Your country is hilarious, fucked, exciting. It's... It's a different world. It's yeah. Different. I really, really enjoyed going there. Yeah. As much as Turkmenistan. But that's the whole thing. I like going to fucked places. But yeah. <laughs> that's your entire shtick. But yeah, I do like it. I, hey, I, we've see got some, I see we, the appeal. I see the appeal. We've got some like controversy over here. We're not confirming or denying this, but apparently Bruz supports the genocide. As the Azerbaijan. Armenian one, yeah. Oh really? Of course he would. Why? Armenia or Azerbaijan? No, he supports Azerbaijan. He supports like Turkey in the genocide against Armenia. Yeah, he really? Would. He would. Even though Gladys Why? is Armenian by Is she blood, Armenian? So. Yeah, I think... I oh my God, what do you think her take is? On Armenia? Obviously yeah. she's on Armenia's side. But that's like strange for like a conservative quote unquote, right? No. Because it's... Um, Azerbaijan... I didn't even know it fucking existed until a week ago. Like and who, I visited the country next door to it. Who would I mean, SCOMO I've heard support? the name, but who I've would, never looked into it. Who would SCOMO it. support? <clears throat> Whatever the US supports, which so, would be Azerbaijan. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's my point. You know what is really scary? Don't you think that Gladys Berejiklian, even though she'd have family there, if they forced her to take a stance, she'd be like, I support Armenia. Then one person would whisper in her ear, I support Azerbaijan. I hope not. <laughs> I sincerely yeah, hope course. not. Dude, she's, like, she's, she's kind of like legally obliged to do that too. Mm. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. now, Ali, can you get up a film clip? Because has everybody be that's listening to this, you will see a preview it has to be uh, if, you, if you look at this. But I, I really need to contrast these two. In fact, can we just contrast all three of these clips? Is that all right? Yeah, wait, do you, do you want me to put well, up the clip I just need to show it? you. You do it live. You can really see the difference in the three. Oh, shit. I need to, like, it convert up. it into a different format to be able to put it up on that. Shucks. There. Nuts. If anyone knows how to do it, yeah. I maybe, will maybe send maybe you will, a treat if you can. It might ruin it, but maybe I can try. Keep talking and I'll try, figure yeah, it out. Yeah. Um... Well, I just... Well, well, I want to just... Because I, I really think that everything can be summed up. So you, uh, What's the clip? Just write Azerbaijan war. No, song. you you watch that one last. 
Okay. Because, you know, this is amazing. This is the first time that Miss Love knew anything about <laughs> geopolitics before I did. Yeah. Can you... Ali. Ali. Yeah. Can you guess how Miss Love knew about the Armenian conflict how? before I did? Guess. You'll get it. Um, there was a band that it is from Bingo. Armenia Bingo. that Bingo. sang Bingo. about Bingo. it. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> and if System of a Down didn't exist, Miss Love would not know uh, that Armenia exists. Not a clue. Wait, yeah, what's clue. the name of this video that we're, I'm going to make well, you watch? I, I, well, look, I, mean, I just think to show a little bit of Protect the Land by, by system. Uh, system of a Down because it does give you... But first of all, just to give you a nice contrast of the region, can you also just look write SOAD, you... Noob. Don't play that there one yet. Is, there it is. Okay. Also, just play uh, Turkmenistan's... Oh, it's working. Wow, look at no, that. No, that's just for us. Monday. Oh, that's fine. Let's look at the audio. No. Oh, you just want the audio. No, no, no. You don't want the audio. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you can look this all up along with us then, <laughs> yeah, guys. You know, how does that sound? Okay, okay, no, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up. I'll put it up. Don't worry. You I'll can? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Very cool. Well, okay, just put that one up because I really do think that these three sum it up. Yep. As with everything in life, I, I am Scott Morrison, aren't I? But what about the optic? But I, I do just think that it does. And also just to show you what Turkmenistan's propaganda is, because all of these countries use it, and obviously Armenia, uh, System of the Down. Oh, is like shit, a everyone's saying copyright strike, don't do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Copyright strike, we might get one. Don't do System of the Down then, but these ones would not be copyright strike. Really? We can just do this. But watch Protect the Land, System of the Down, because it just gives you such a good example of what the Armenians are fighting with. It's honestly like the humans in Terminator 1. (laughs) You know, like, it's just they have the shittest weapons. It's sad. And then the other one is, um, yeah, just look up uh, Soprano Man Ashkabat. Because I, I just want to show everybody that, like, you can just tell, even though they both have regimes, regimes are different. As in, all the propaganda... For, that's the first one, yeah? All the propaganda in Turkmenistan, if you go there, is just, like, pretty much what I say about it every time I'm there. So I'm obviously influenced by it, which is, look at how beautiful this city is. It's such a nice... Look, that building looks exactly the same as the building opposite it. God... Your um, worldview is so scary. <laughs> I, uh, is, is it scary that I think that that's heaven? A little bit. Right. Not but terrifying. Then, your heaven is Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> What's scarier? True. Mm, I yeah, lo- that's yeah. a good question. Well, I, yeah, you're right. My heaven's Vietnam. Like Paris in a jungle. That's Hanoi. Yeah. And that's my heaven. I suppose mine is a lot scarier because mine is a... Russian Soviet hangover dictators heaven in a desert in a desert yeah let's I not forget that scarier. where he forces officials to plant trees on the weekend it really is just That's me cool, in a though. nutshell it is you it is you in a nutshell <laughs> I understand it it's just uh, funny and stupid <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah then the other one this guy's saying don't play it you don't do you think this no, is no 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 this is not going to be copyright it's not. No way. They, what, what, this isn't they, even allowed out of Turkmenistan. So they can't copyright it then? No. Sick. Christ, no. And then the other one that's from Azerbaijan, <laughs> that is not copyright. <laughs> I know that for okay, a fact. Okay, I'm ready whenever you want to Yeah, play. roll it. And, and I mean, Ali, sorry, also, you wanna... can you download as well before we play that? Just ta- download. And don't peek ahead. Just watch the contrast, everyone. Download Armenia... Military pop song. Oh no, sorry. Uh, Azerbaijani military pop song. This looks like Turk. Is that Turkmenistan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's the first one. And the second one. Dude, I think it looks really ugly. <laughs> Get ready for loud. First one, Jordan. Uh, yeah, the first one. Oh. Thanks, Ali. You really are a tech god. I am not a tech No, you are. You're a god of tech. tech. No, no, it's not. Um, all right, so just should we just play the first one then? Yeah, just play the first one while this one's downloading. Thank you for that. Make it full screen, they say. Jesus. Settle down. Christ, we're working the best <laughs> we can. No, they want full screen. Well, they, they can probably get rid of that. Is it playing? Can everyone hear that? I don't think it is. I think the sound is off. Really? 
строчки глянцевых журналов Город, в котором я живу, молодость не агара Город, который не прощает слабость Город с видом на горы, районы, кварталы Город этажей, белых высоток дорог Кому-то тут фартит, кому-то не повезет Я тут вроде бы чужак, но для всех доску Эй, чувак, попридержи коней, не смотри косо а, тут все по красоте, если не стоишь на месте, обгоняешь свою тень И неважно в жару или в минус метели, без лишних разговоров теле мы или не те Город дает шанс, смотри не проспи, только один раз и без левой возни Я мечтал о нем, когда жил в моры, тут как-то по-другому все ярче светят огни В каждом сне вижу тебя, мой цветущий сад, It's Dubai is better, and or Qatar or whatever, one of those places. That's better. Uh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake! But ridiculous. now, ridiculous, ridiculous. All right, sure, I'll play the. All right, now get ready for this. You guys ready? Watch this. This is a pop song. In
I you know what they're saying in that apparently? What? The, what the longs in it. Yeah, yeah. The chorus apparently is revenge, revenge for whatever the fuck that province is called, Cab Kalash or whatever. Cab Kalash. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, you look at the translation lyrics for it. It's a very, yeah. very thinly veiled oh, extermination song. Yeah. They're just basically talking about Armenians like they're cockroaches that need to be wiped off the face of the planet. Yeah. That is on their top 40 chart. It's just like, okay, that was uh, Billy Eilish, followed by this guy that looks like a drummer that was at our <laughs> high school. Dude, uh, it's, it's really... Wait, were you showing this to us because you think it's a cool country? No, I'm no. sure for the exact opposite reason. Because I think Turkmenistan is cool because it likes buildings. Yeah. I think because that it I, likes I, it's the same. Dude, don't you think the entire world is just. It's actually Ben Shapiro's point on a global stage. It's just <laughs> like men either do two things they either build things or they tear them down. Damn. But that's I think pretty, that's, that's the whole epic. world in a macrocosm. It's just some countries build things, other countries tear them down. It's pretty accurate, actually. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. More or less. Um, do you want to do some final goodbyes? We're kind of running over time. Oh, yeah. we're running over time. That was we? good, though. Uh, uh, yes, well, I very much appreciate everyone coming here. Make sure that you subscribe to Patreon because we will be talking about more things that pop to our heads at that exact moment. <laughs> so that's always fun and worth all the money that you put. Is your head a meme or are you actually... No, it's moving. All right, there. <laughs> <gonna even miss. laughs> and um, sorry, keep keep going. I was just I was just watching us. Very much appreciate everybody tuning in. We will see you on the next podcast where Ali will get to the points that he wanted to talk about, which uh, won't be relevant anymore next week. But <laughs> not not still necessary. Do it. Not oh, necessary. sorry, man. Well, that'll be. We'll do that no, on no, the we'll up late. We'll do that on the up late. All right. Well, Join we'll us. see you guys for the up late one. Join us over the firewall. It gets fun.